it's James Woods, aka that yoga dude with Feel Free to Feel Free. It's spring cleaning, y'all. So we want to clean out our mind, clean out our body. Jumping into a fresh season, a fresh new set of skills, a fresh new set of eyes so we can see how we can continue to serve better. So we're going to jump into some cleaning and relaxing practices here in our yoga class today. Wherever you are, come on down to a seated or comfortable position. And we're gonna do some cleansing breaths here, all right? Before we jump into the big cleanse, we're gonna jump into the big steal, stealing our mind, stealing our body, relaxing, calming down, and focusing. And we're gonna do that just in 15 seconds. Yep, that's it, that's all, 15 seconds, quarter of a minute, allowing our body to relax, release, and be present. So, on the count of three, as the body softens, the mind is right here, right now, focused on every breath. I'm gonna count from 15 to one. 15 to one. And every time you hear a number, it's just an indicator, a sign, reminding you that it's time to relax and chill. So breathe deep and refocus the mind on the breath coming in and out of the body for the next 15 seconds. On the count of three, we start. One, two, three. Take a deep inhale and exhale for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Relax the shoulders. Eight. Seven, relax the face. Six. Five, breathing. Four. Three. Two. Feeling a lot lighter now. Let's clean out whatever is still in there. Cool. Once again, let's come up to our seated position. Now, this time I really want to sit up nice and tall. Focusing on my belly. Being able to open up and breathe. So, as I relax my shoulders, sit up nice and tall. I'm going to breathe in and out of the nose. All right, it sounds like that. Ugh, making sure you get those allergies and stuff cleaned out, but this is gonna be, it's called a breath of fire, where we breathe in and out of our nose. So what we do is we breathe out, and as we breathe out, the belly collapses. And we breathe out through our nose, and then automatically, the air just comes back in through our nose as we release our belly. So we breathe out, and then we let the air just automatically come back in through the nose. So it sounds like this. And every time you blow out, the belly sucks in. And then when the belly blows up and gets bigger and rounder, the air automatically comes in. All right, so on the count of three, we're gonna start our cleansing breath. Cleaning off the space, making sure you're comfortable, relaxed. Uh, stretching whatever you need to stretch and you can be seated however you need to be seated but we're gonna clean it out on the count of three and we're gonna do a round of three so one round is three we're gonna do five three round breaths all right here we go just jump in open your eyes close your eyes and relax your body and let's breathe on three two one Last one. Breathe in and relax. Good, all that oxygen rushing to the brain, helping us to clear away. Feel better, feel relaxed, feel calm. Let's do it again. On the count of three, we start. One, two, three.
last one. <laughs> breathe in and breathe out. Good, let's take three deep breaths here, just breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. One more deep breath. And good. Awesome. Woo, feel a little bit light here, a little bit loopy. A little bit less of the clutter and a little bit more of you, yourself, who you genuinely are and who we all appreciate you using to serve our amazing kids in our communities. All right, let's rock side to side, moving out those muscles and through, along the sides, the abdominals and the lower back, feeling good, stretching out the head towards the shoulders, taking our time, moving slow and breathing deep. Good, good, good. Nice, you can exaggerate it a little bit, dropping all the way to the side. Ooh, and I feel my hips open up, my shoulders, my side, everything kind of just opening up. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Now let's do a shoulder roll here. Inhale, bring the shoulders up, squeeze, and then exhale, rolling the shoulders back and down. Let's bring those shoulders up as we inhale. Exhale, back and down. Shoulders roll. And exhale, back and down. <sighs> Moving the head left and right. Moving the head in circles. Just really checking in with the body. Good. You can't clean if you don't know it's dirty. So, checking in with the body. Figuring out what's working for you and what's not. And when I mean dirty, I don't mean bad. I just mean just moving and creating some space within the body. Good, good, good. All right, let's unfurl these legs. We're gonna actually, <clears throat> we're gonna bring both the soles of the feet down to the ground and bring the palms of the hands behind us, nice. So I have that support in my lower back. Good, I feel my chest rising, my spine is tall here. I'm just gonna drop my knees from left to right. Windshield wipers, April showers, bring May flowers. Keeping our windshields nice and wiped. Good, happy spring equinox and Easter and I believe Passover and whatever other holidays and observances that we celebrate so this feels really good especially when you're watching tv bringing the knees back and forth working on your abdominals working on your hips your knees your ankles this is bringing life to your core right here good all right so now i'm going to straighten out my left leg i'm going to slowly allow myself to come down Good, and now I'm gonna bring that left leg up into the sky as high as possible. Oh, and oh man, for a deep stretch here. Good. Bringing that leg back into the air. Now, my hips wanna come up, so I'm gonna let them come down, let my hips relax and be down, and then curl my toes towards my face. This is a blood flow circulation improving stretch here my toes come back towards my face and i feel the stretch in the back of my legs breathing deep here good for five relax the shoulders relax the chest relax your back four relax the head spinning that circle around three two and one good stretch the leg and then drop it then I'm gonna slowly peel my back off the ground using the elbows, woo, using the core. Six pack, come in. Nice. And then I'm going to straighten out that left leg once again and bring that right leg to the inside of my left leg. And then I'm gonna let that right knee fall over to the right side, bringing the sole of my right foot in. Good. And you see, so my hips are here and moving up forward. My hips are, are scooted forward. I'm gonna scoot my hips back. Oh, and that, just scooting your hips back, just putting your hands down and scooting your hips back creates more length in the legs, creates more space in the hips. 
Sitting up nice and tall, bring that right foot in, letting that right knee just fall down in the way. Good, take a deep inhale here. First, we're going to lean forward. Ooh. Just enough to feel that stretch in the back of the left leg. You feel that? Yeah, me too. Curl those toes back even more. Ooh, you can grab them if you like, or just curl them back using the toes. Breathing deeply here. Good. And then slowly walk those hands back and down. Mm, mm, mm. And lower it down to the ground. Now I'm falling off the mat. I'm in the jungle a little bit in my little tree, but so what you're doing here is just allowing this right knee to fall open. Now, it may not come all the way down to the ground. You can use your hand to support it and start to let the hip and the groin easily just open up. These are really just some chill postures and poses that we're doing to warm the body up and just get our body moving and breathing, focusing on what's going on in our body so we can start to clean it out, relax and release it. Let's spend another deep breath here. Feel the belly up and then exhale. Inhale, let's slowly ugh, come up. Use the core, the chest, the arms, the elbows. I'm just gonna lean forward once again. Ooh, that's a stretch right there. Coming up, nice. Bring that right knee up. Keep that right foot down on the ground. And then let's exchange legs. Good, ugh, send that right foot out, right leg out. Always adjusting the hips, moving and scooping around. Good. New dance move alert. Then once again, lower my body down. Just me lowering right here and feel the stretch in the top of my thigh. So our core muscles really are all the way down from the chest to the tops of the thigh. So we're working on the core muscles. Laying back and down. Inhale, let's send our right foot up into the sky. Oh, whoo-wee. That is a hamstring hello. Ooh. So I'm gonna lower my butt down, keeping my left foot pressed into the ground. Now, if you have a belt, if you have a towel, a bandana, a t-shirt, and you want more, you can throw it over the foot, throw it behind the foot, and bring it back for a deep stretch in the back of the leg. Oh, things are wobbling, things are shaping, shaking, and I'm breathing through it. Oh, relax the hips, relax the shoulders. Ooh, this is one of those stretches where you want more, but then you give yourself more, and you're like, ooh, too much. So making sure you're moderating your smile. If you can't smile, if you can't breathe and stretch, you're going a little bit too much. Good. Take a deep breath here, inhale. Good, exhale, let that right leg come down. I'm gonna use the elbows once again coming up. Ooh, we're gonna get some sit-ups out of this yoga class. Now, I'm going to bring that left foot in to the right thigh. Let me let my left knee fall down. Oh, you see how the left leg just falls down? Once again, you can have that left hand to support it. We're going to go forward first. Bring forward, stretch forward over that straight right leg. Or it could be bent, wherever works for you. Oh, wow. When you bend it, it actually gives a deep stretch in the back. Mm. Yeah, just straighten it out, whatever works. And then slowly we're gonna walk the hands back. Looking up towards the sky. Oh man, relaxing deep, allowing the body to stretch and to open up. Inhaling and exhaling. So this left knee falls open. It does all the work, stretching in the groin and the hip. The outside of the leg, the top of the thigh. This just does amazing wonders for decluttering your center area your core your hips area moving out all those things that get stuck as we just sit all day shoulders relax breath is deep for three two and one good slowly pushing into the elbows pushing to the hands coming up and then we lean forward Good, flexing our spine in two different directions, forward and back. Moving the hips in two different directions, left and right, in and out, good. And then slowly we're gonna bring the soles of the feet together. Oh. Toes together, uh, it's cold in here, this hardwood floor. 
I'm a carpet guy. But mm, we get to warm up by breathing deep. So I'm gonna let my knees fall away and bring my feet together. Good. Shoulders relaxed, chest comes up, spine elongates. I wanna bring my chin towards the sky and feel my whole chest open up. Hello. Breathe in, breathe out, take a deep breath in. Good. Exhale, slowly bringing my chin down. Take a deep breath here. And a slow, long exhale. Good. I'm gonna extend these legs of mine. Mm -mm -mm. And shake them out, bounce them out. Lean forward, rocking back and forward. Oh man, that feels good. All right, ready for my day. Taking a deep breath here, nice. And then we're gonna come into our tabletop position, bringing our hands and knees aligned. <clears throat> Palm pressed flat into the ground. Top of my toes, wobble, wobble, wobble. Good, and then I'm gonna open the chest by bringing my chest up, my tailbone up, and the belly dropping. Cow pose, good. And then as I exhale, around the spine, tucking my chin. Tailbone comes down. Coming into a cat pose. Pushing into the hands. See how my arms straighten out? Well, this elbow doesn't really straighten. That's an old childhood accident. But my arms straighten out here in this cat pose because I'm pushing away and I'm pulling my shoulders up. Tucking my tailbone. Good. But then in my cow pose, I can bend my arms slightly because I'm bringing my chest through and bringing my chest up. Good. So I get a little bit more leverage in my spine to open it up and breathe deep. Good. And then let's exhale once again. Extending, curling, stretching. Inhale, coming up. I want to lay prostrate on my belly. Ugh, so I want to slide out all the way on my belly. Ooh, man. Sometimes it's tough just getting on the ground. Bending my knees. I'm going to bend both my knees. And point and flex my feet. Point. Point and flex. Point and flex. The ankles, the Achilles. Point and flex. Point and flex. That feels good. Just right there. And I feel the my lower back start to activate. And so I'm gonna drop my knees once again, left and right. This is a little massage for the lower back, left and right. Chin can be on the ground or you can place your left or right ear on the ground, whatever works for you as you work it out, left or right, left and right. Good. Then I'm going to grab my left foot left toes left ankle left shin wherever i can or maybe just bring my hand backwards and see if i can pull that left heel towards my butt now i feel the stretch in the top of my my leg my left leg i'm going to straighten out my right foot Ooh, feel that deep stretch in the top of my left leg feel the deep stretch in the top of my left foot Bring that heel towards my butt for another five, four, three, two, one. Relax, release. Good. My foot is in the air and the bottom of my foot is facing towards the ceiling on my left foot. I'm just gonna raise my left knee off the ground. Ooh, feel that strength in the core for five, four, three, two. Relax and let go. Left foot comes down. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, that right foot comes up. Reach back with the right hand, grab what you can. And bring your heel towards your butt. Breathing deeply for five, four. Feel that stretch in the top of that right leg. Three, two, one. Squeeze, squeeze in. Good. Oh, that feels really good. Release that right foot. And then bring the right knee off the ground. 
for another five, four, three, two, and one. The left, the right foot, good. Flexing the spine in the other direction, we have the lower back and the lower spine stretch the hips open. Now let's take those hands, slide them right next to the chest, press them into the earth and rise with the inhale, coming up into our cobra position. You can keep it low, whatever works for your back, or you can rise as high as your arms allow you, but your shoulders relax, your chest opens up, your breath is deep. Good, three, two, Bring your chin toward the sky, maybe come up a little bit higher. Feel that stretch within the back. Mm, relax your shoulders and then slowly lower down. Take a deep inhale here, breathe in, push up. Good, into that tabletop position once again. We're gonna come into a downward facing dog. Just one down dog today. Tuck the toes, spread those fingers and then move those hips up and back Woo, for the stretch in the whole body here. Chest towards, towards the thighs, heels drive towards the ground, toes pointed towards the top of the body, the hands, and then the hands stretched, fingers spread. We're only here for another five, four, three, two, one. Good, drop those knees. Mm. So, once again, I have a hardwood floor, so it's tough on my knees. So what I want to do is, I have two mats under here, whoa! So I'm going to bring my mats wide, and then I'm going to bring my knees wide. So I'm going to bring my knees as wide as I can. Maybe wider than the mat, maybe as wide as the mat. Good. Bring my knees wide. Bring my toes together. I'm going to push my hips back and down. Oh, man. Towards my heels. Dropping down to maybe my elbows. Maybe dropping down to my chest. Keeping my hips back towards my heels to feel that groin just fall and stretch and open up to my inner thighs and legs. Breath is deep here. You can use your arms, your elbows to support you or collapse deeper. We're going to be here for the next 10. Breathe. So release the muscles trying to hold your hips up and your back up. Just let them fall in. Nine. Release your chest, your face. Eight. Seven. Focus on your breathing. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring your chest up and then start to walk it forward once again. Ooh, and come out of this pose laying down bring your feet together and then let the knees and the legs just fall left and right once again rolling side to side good and then we're going to roll onto our backs once again onto our backs oh, let's roll onto our backs let's bring those knees into chest once again this time I'm going to drop my right legs, my right knee over to the right side, and then extend that left leg. I keep my shoulders down. They might be pressed against the ground, but I extend that left leg, stretching through the whole left side. Feel the stretch throughout the hips, the side muscles, the twist in the spine here. Good. The left leg extends and stretches. Breath is deep. <sighs> Good. Slowly bring that left leg back to the middle. And then we roll over to the other side and extend that right leg. <sighs> Man. Very deep stretch in the back of the right leg. 
both the shoulders are down. You can open up that right hand. Deep stretch here for another five. Good. Extend that right leg as much as you need to. Four. Three. Two. Slowly retract the right leg, rolling back to <clears throat> your back. Good. And then let's extend those legs. <sighs> Relaxing. Coming onto your back. As we move into our final posture of the day session, we're gonna go into our Shavasana. Now this Shavasana is really focusing on cleaning out those negative thoughts we have. So we do that as we break down the body. I mean, we can break down those thoughts. And what I mean break down, not disintegrate, destroy, tear apart, but just really breaking down those blockages and things in our body that prevent us from going where we want to go like stress, tension, tightness, overwhelm. So let's start that by just squeezing your toes, curling your toes and opening them up, good. And then pointing and flexing the feet. And then rolling the ankles around. Bringing the legs, rolling the legs back and forth for the knees, the shins, and the calves to rotate in and out, rotate in and out. The legs rotating in and out, you feel the thighs, the hips. And then I want you to bring the hips slightly forward, bring them up and forward, raise the hips. And then bring the hips back, raise the hips forward and back. Using the belly, using the core, using the lower spine, the tailbone. And then just roll left and right. Roll left and right. Massaging the glutes, massaging the heels, the back of the legs, massaging the core, the belly, building strength. Breathe in deep. Good. Then bring in attention to the belly as you fill it up with oxygen. Breathe in, big belly as you like a balloon. And then exit, exit out, it all out. Relax the chest, let it feel open. I want you to pick up the shoulders off the ground, good, and then let them drop away from each other. Feel that spread, feel that opening in the shoulders, good. The arms are relaxed, let the palms be open. And I want you to pick up the arms and bring them closer to your feet. Let the arms drag down and then drop them back to the ground. Fingers are relaxed. Neck is relaxed. Head is relaxed. Mind is relaxed. Breath.
wiggling the fingers and the toes. Rolling the ankles, rolling the wrist. Rolling the head back and forth, left and right. Good. Then let's inhale, bring the hands up. And then over the head for a full body strength as you point your toes away. Mm -hmm. Good stretch here. Here it is. We roll over once again. Bringing our knees into our chest, rolling up. And then rolling over to the right side. Curl into a nice warm <sighs> position of love, care, concern for the most important person in your world. You, you, you. And you know that. Let's slowly come up to our seat. Relaxing the shoulders, feeling comfortable, secure, peaceful, aligned. I greatly appreciate you, your service, your commitment. I greatly appreciate your sacrifice, your focus, your attention. I greatly appreciate the love, the peace, the light within you. And I also recognize within the people that you serve. So as always, feel free to feel free. And namaste. Have a beautiful, peaceful weekday, and I'll see you next time.